sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington Commanders. Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Washington defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. to about the 27 it'll be second down oh that's a real nice job there by the defensive front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not many times you just don't take any step just get your feet moving get your body going and then once he made the read he's able to make the play third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three from the gun it's Mahomes it's Kelsey on the ground and he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now the throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. The commanders bring out the nickel package on third down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Mahomes takes it himself. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The more and more that we broadcast games, the more I realize how much this game is about the eyes. And in this case, they got fooled because the defense was checking out the eyes of the back, thinking he was getting the ball. Should be looking at the QB, shouldn't they? A little bit of a surprise indeed, and he was able to get forward for that one yard. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a short gain down to about the 33. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. to throw it's Mahomes complete the tight end Kelsey and they're going to have another first down here as the tackles made at Washington's 18 one back in the backfield he'll get the carry and he's going to push his way down to about the 12 and they'll give him another shot here on the ground and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll try to run this one in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. 
Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. I don't need to. I don't need to. Mahomes now on the sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Patrick Mahomes scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. We'll see a return here from... And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they'll be inside the red zone with the ball at the 16-yard line. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll get four there down to about the 12 yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. There yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Two yards the game there and now they're left with a third and about four for first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. He handed it off there, but I don't really know if he would have kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage. There's just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. Oh. Mahomes takes it himself, and he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Hey, bro, you like how I chew the clock? As they convert on fourth. Well, you just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a great point there. Being able to get lower than the defensive front, create just enough space. I love when those quarterbacks get low and slide in there and get it done. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there. Forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target. And it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Slot man moves right. Pal to the air on first and 10. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Working with a second and four. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 
And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But those have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. He'll get it inside the 20. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17-yard line. from the red zone now, Mahomes. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. The turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, 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 man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end, and I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. One last shot before the break. Hell, and not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Final shot before break. Powell winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Let's go. 
out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been... Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 14. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're thinking of stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Nicole Hardman, a 14-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point by Butker is on target, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Harrison Butker in the kickoff for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guy. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. No. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. 
down they'll go to the ground attack they'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. now Mahomes now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced and the commanders are going to take over once again at their own 25 yard line first and 10 here for Hal and the commanders at their own 25 yard line Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Second down, Hal now. And Thomas has it. So just three yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. Third and one. Hal's going to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. Now with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So here we go, fourth down, Hal. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. And he is going to have a Washington first down. They didn't get a lot, but they do convert on fourth. And once more, Hal back to the air. Back to Gibson and another catch for it. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory. In session, row. At the 49-yard line. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. It's Hal with another throw. This to McLaurin out on the left side. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now trying to pick it up on third. Caught on the slant. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Man, if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now throwing on first down here. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right, it's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. This will be caught at Samuel. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. 22 yards there, a first down. On first down, Hal. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one goes for 30 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. They'll run with Robinson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Commanders have cut it back within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, oh, that's game, bro. That, that game. game. You're going to do the onside kick? Let me pick his just in case. Go ahead. 
GG good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So first and 10 now from the 30. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. He's got a man complete. A big game there. That's game, bro. <laughs> That's game, bro. Use the first of their timeouts. That's game, man. We'll be back after this. Hey, bro, should I go out with class or should I just go ahead and scope? It's first and goal in a late touchdown. Go out with some class. Could officially salt this one away. Mahomes going to throw it here. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. You know what? I'm going to be a generous nigga, bro. I'm going to be a generous nigga. Fuck it. I'm going to be a generous nigga, dog. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people. I'm going to give you some time on the clock. So the field goal unit is on the field. You get a little bit of time right to do a play, to take us to OT. And if not, you lose. Good, Don't bring it out the end zone. Because then you're going to use some of that time. Don't bring it out the end zone. I'm going to make sure you don't bring it out. I really want another interception. Don't bring it out. You gonna use some of that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Okay, let's see what you made of, nigga. I don't think you. I don't think you got it in you, nigga. I don't think you got nothing in you, cuz. I don't think you got shit in you. You ain't got it in you, cuz. You ain't built like that. You ain't built like that, nigga. You ain't built like that, nigga. Oh yeah, am I? Oh, you get one more play? Hail Mary, that bitch. Hail Mary, that bitch. Hail Mary, that hoe. Okay. Let's see what you buy. Don't do it. Now in desperation throw to Duffy. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle.